What's up, everybody? It's Cam Badger coming at you again with the with episode two of our Akron Zips Dynasty. Um, here we're going to get into some recruiting before we take on Central Florida, uh, nationally ranked at twenty one, so they're in the top twenty five. Got some playmakers: uh, Mackenzie Milton, Adrian Killens Jr. It's the running back and the quarterback. Uh, most people are uh, familiar with Central Florida; they're nationally ranked program pretty much here for the last couple of years and we're gonna get to take them on but first we gotta get some recruit knocked out so anthony jefferson a uh linebacker looks like he's gonna be a 61 we're gonna get some guys scouted here can he be scouted anymore no okay go down through here and look see who can be scouted and who can't uh we like to keep everybody above really above 65 unless they have really good ratings that we like or we like them for a certain position or a certain scheme that they fit our scheme in a certain way um, so let's get through this and see who needs to be scouted I had an audio issue earlier when I tried to record this previous that's why we have used some of our points up there in the left up in the upper left corner um, so if you're wondering about that, that is why. Um, but here we got some guys that are going down in ratings. But not a lot. Still above our 65 threshold, but Adam Woods drops below the threshold here. Don't see any of his physical traits as a linebacker. How big is he? 6'3", 221. So he's about, about the size that we need as far as, um, our outside guys go. We got to get an outside linebacker. That's one of our team needs. Uh, Jarius Young. I think this is the guy. Yeah, he's got good size. This is a guy from Florida. Okay, playing time's important to him. The playing time guys are the guys you probably won't be able to redshirt. Um, those guys that like playing time. If, you, if they don't get playing time, they like to transfer out. Marcus Robinson, some speed there at receiver. Gives us some size from Brandon, Florida. Um, so, we're going to get everybody a scholarship in this one, too. Mayfield's a fullback that we like out of Florida. Only a one star. Play time's big on his list, too. Let's get these guys scouted. Talk more about it as we get into the race of recruiting here. I really like this quarter. Is this the this is the running back? I mean, the running quarterback from Deerfield Beach. It sure is Kenneth Thomas. If his throw power is good and his he's got some good speed. He can be a a big target for us. So that's 74 break tackle is pretty high for a quarterback. Um, all right, and the punter here. Okay, so everybody scouted at least once. So we're going to get everybody a scholarship. We can't afford to just skip over some guys and not give them a scholarship. Um, we want to give everybody an offer here. and We'll cut down on our board. Uh, okay, so once you offer a, a guy, unless, I mean, if you cut him or not, um, if you don't fill your scholarships at the end signing day, You'll have some guys that just wanted to walk onto your team. Maybe they had offers from other schools. Maybe they did, or maybe they had an offer previous from your school, but they didn't. Uh, they got cut off your board. They'll still commit to your team, and uh, I think a lot of people don't know that. And uh, I didn't know that. I, I just picked up on it just about the last year that there still be added guys that I didn't recruit. And I was like, man, why are we sign these guys? Even though all my recruiting assistance is off. And uh, we were signing like some guys that were low 60s, high 50s. We were just like, man, they can't have this. But if they're good trait guys, which what I mean by traits is um, if they're good, if they're guys that are fast or they're, or they're bigger guys, I like, uh, then we'll keep them. But I do like Anthony Jefferson. That's what I was just about to say. I like Anthony Jefferson if he could get some if I could see some good speed out of him. He's a good pass rusher, it looks like a little bit. If he just needs some little bit of development. He could be a two-star gym. I know he's a two-star, 
Playing time is big on his list, and um, I would like to get him. Maybe he could be a special teams guy if he's got that speed, or maybe we use him in certain things. Uh, look at Spencer here. Spencer, another heel with our 335. Perfect. 75 tackles, pretty good for incoming freshman. Yeah, look at all these guys. Ronnie Burke. Okay, so we're out of points so far. We only got three guys on the board with points. That's not good. We're going to have to uh, probably ration our points out as we go. We'll get the guys that we need first. So the team needs, we'll get all the points first once we're done scouting. We get a lot of points back next next week with our scholarships that we just offered. But now it's time to worry about what's here already. We have to get into this game. And we have to at least put up a fight against Central Florida. I'm not expecting us to come in and just dominate. Um, that's not in the cards right now for us. We are not that kind of team right now that can just go in and dominate. We'll look at the preview here. Kurt's going to go with the... Uh, Central Florida. Uh, we're actually a defensive-led team. There with a B minus. I think it's at 82. All right. So you see there, we only won one conference championship. We've only ever been to two bowl games, so we got to change that. Also, we have a losing all-time record. By uh, that is what 21 games. No, that's not 21 games. That is, it's like 19, 19 games. So, hopefully we can flip that in our time at Akron. Um, that is UCF schedule. Here you see we're going on the road trying to get us some, some money. When the smaller teams play bigger schools, or schools that are more highly ranked, they bring in more funds for the program so that'll allow us to sp prestige more uh, we also play Louisiana Lafayette here we get into the conference and then our last out of conference game I'm pretty sure will be FAU um, along with our four here at the beginning um, so all right all right, well, we're about to get into this game. I'll see y'all when we check out our team's ratings and the top players for both teams. Alright, and as you can see here, a little outmatched here. Not as bad as I thought, uh, personally. I hadn't seen any of this. Um, and when I do get back, I want to show the preseason poll and where, we, where we're at. So, we're 77 overall to their 86. Offenses, their offense, their offensively led team, we're a defensively led team. So, if the defense can step up, make some plays. Maybe we can maybe we can get our way into this game. Maybe we can uh, cause an upset here. Um, but here for our top players, home, you got Milton, Jasinski, and Snelson. 
some very highly rated players there for Central Florida. For us, you got Gilbert the third, Davis, and Davis the second. Don't know if there's a relation there with Davis and Davis the second. I doubt it, but I mean there could be. So there's our highly rated players compared to them. You can see the drop off. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis. But you the EA yeah, it doesn't matter. Akron Zips are going to come to play. By if we're going to put on a jersey, we're going to cut on the scoreboard, we're coming to win. And I know we're outmatched, but we got players that they don't have. Just like they have players that we don't have. We know what we got in our locker room. We know what we got on the that what we bought NCAA on the bus is going to match up well with, you, with Central Florida. We, their staff, the before us, the previous staff, they, they brought in some guys. They bought in in the offseason, and now they're our guys. So we're about to come down here to Central Florida, and we're going to give them a fight and get them out there in deep water and see if we win. You don't never know how people are going to perform until they get out there in the deep water in, a, in an uncomfortable situation. We got so we got to make them uncomfortable and uncomfortable. Here we go. Bright House Network Stadium playing a nationally ranked team. First game of the series. Man, this is this is, this is a big game. You, we could look back on this and either say, man, we knew it was going to be bad or... And this, if we have we had a bright future from here. Lose the toss. They're going to kick. We're ready to get this so one we're going to return. Sands back. Deltron Sands. It's and deep into the end zone. We're just going to go and sit on that. All right. And we are. Like, it's our first game. It's our first game, like we previously said. I mean, we just got to get in there. We got to call, call some, call some good plays for Cato Nelson and this offense, and get Edwards going with the run game. I think we're going to start off running a halfback dive here with Edwards. On it. Oh, and a good run there, bump at the mic. Sorry for that. Ten yards for Van Edwards Jr. That's, that's really good. Uh, let's see. Kind of a, I mean, we run a custom playbook specifically made when this staff came in. Oh, uh, specifically made it. It specifically made it for Akron. Oh man, Cato gets knocked down in the backfield. Pat Jasinski, one of the guys that. That was um, highlighted in the preview there. So here we're going to go five wide. These videos are probably going to be right around, the, uh, right around an hour long, but we try to miss anything. All right, drops back, looks, looks. They're trying to get to Cato. He takes off, and this is what he can do. He gets us. That's a five-yard gain. That was a very long five-yard gain, but that's what he can do. He can, he can do some of that, some of the improvising, some of those things that not a lot of quarterbacks can do. And that was very intriguing to our staff whenever we had we were offered the job. That. Man, I mean, we're about to have one of the best playmakers in America that nobody knows about. And that's why that's why we took the job. He was a big reason why we took the job. And right when we came in, he bought in. I mean, he's been our guy from the start. And he's showing that here. The, the faith that we had in him, he's showing why he... Oh, we put that faith in him. Maverick Wolfley there making a good catch. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking Let's try a sweep here. From the 47-yard line. First down. All right. Edwards. In motion, Edwards. He can get up the field. He gets a carry for about four. Van Edwards. A little unorthodox. I mean, like I said, we're a little unorthodox on offense. We're unorthodox on defense. We just got a different um, a different approach to the way the game is played and that's just how we're gonna run it so we're trying to do an unorthodox thing and take a, a team that's only won eight games twice and 
make that a consistent thing. Cato here with a little, with a little move. Safety stays home, makes a good tackle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Right. We want to try to get the ball to Smith. It's just on that outside. It's hard for us to get it to him without it being a design screen or uh, a design route just for him. It's second and three. Ball in the but Smith, he's a team player. Quadarius Smith. Uh, he's he's more we're gonna probably try to hit him right here. He's covered. Cato's gonna have to run again. Oh, and he's got some space. He gets lit up. And we gotta not let him take those hits. Because the guy behind him he's a he's a redshirt freshman, a young guy, hasn't got any experience since Cato's been here. So we gotta get him in the slide, get on the ground. Here's Van Edwards. Give him the ball here. He runs up the middle. He's going to get it to the five. Six yard run. Van Edwards, he's been ripping chunks out of this defense here. Light slot post here. This, is, this could be a really good play. Should drop back. Cato Nelson. He throws. Oh, batted in the air, and Van drops the football. Man, that was a, a big one there. We need that one. And you can't get into the red zone. You can't drive down the field and not get points if you expect to win. Then we're going to throw this up to Nathan Stewart here. Cato calling a fade route. That's what he can do is call some hot routes. Throws up Nathan Stewart. Faked him out. And the big wide receiver makes a six-yard catch. Good throw there from Cato Nelson. He's wide open. Didn't overshoot him. Didn't underthrow him. Got it to him. We're going to sim this just to save some time here. Save the extra, the extra point and the touchback. Oh, man. First play, we get an interception. Hit the sim too many times. Man, they've been hearing they it all week. Well Man, what a pushover. Ackley's about to be a pushover. New staff. Don't know if the team's bought in. Well, I think we just found out. I think we're bought in. We're going to go shot play right here to start. Cato trying to get loose throws. Nathan Stewart making another catch. Nate Stewart, excuse me, mispronounced the name. All right, here we go. Unorthodox play here. It's a swing to, to our slot receiver, Williams. He's going to run out there. Oh, and they didn't expect it. Williams makes a man miss. Gets to the five yard line. And we're going to go no huddle. We got to go no huddle here. We got to try to get in the end zone here. Let's see. Curls. Could we hit another fade ball? No, there's a guy in the middle of the field. I think this is Smith's time for him to come alive. Let's run a rub route here. Cato, Cato being smart here, running. We call in a rub route, and he's going to run it. Smith, oh, man, maybe some pass interference here from Jasinski. He's been on the field. I mean, he's been making some plays since we've been out here. Then we should go to ISO here, try to get it in the end zone. Got five yards to get. He's been getting about six yards to carry. Let's see if he can get it one more time. Oh, and he's powering his way forward to get to the first down. First down, let's go. Yes, sir. We'll go no huddle here. We're going to run it again. Come on, don't check with the sideline. Just run it again. Just run it again. Oh, and Van, he's in the end zone. Powers over the linebacker. Yes, sir. Showing some power there, Van Edwards, Jr., Good stuff there from the senior running back. That's going to be the thumbnail.
first down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. All right, we're going to pick up our first – send some defensive plays just to save some time. And now we're going to pick up mid in, in the red zone here, late first quarter. Kenzie Milton, once for six. Wish we could get there a little quicker. Um, but Davis, he, he comes down, makes a good play, makes a good tackle. Good cover of one here. Let's see if we can get a stop. He's taken down. The two run the running back. Davis comes up with a big hit on Adrian Killens Jr. Man, good lick there. If we could get a stop here, that would be great. That's it for one, and oh, and that's going to run we'll us out of the first quarter. Nothing. We've been making some plays. Brad Nestle, he just said it. Upset of the week. This could be upset of the week. Man, we came out, we came out on all cylinders. Kicking on all cylinders. This is, a di I mean, it just looks like a different team and we're ready for more than what we've seen on paper. I mean, they just play. I didn't expect this as a coach. I mean, they, they came out and they just, man. He's tackled Sometimes you just line. get a team that's Only just good. There, and we get a goal line over. stand. The defense. I knew it was a defensive-led team, but somebody that's so offensively gifted. And McKenzie Milton can't get the ball. He's doing the quarter one, bringing out a four-wide set for the running back. And we got to get a stop here. We're running it, and they get in. I mean, I mean, that's what happens when you bring out a quarter set. I mean, they brought out four wide, thinking that we would come out in a quarter set. We did. They run it in the end zone. I mean, it, I mean, you know that you the Central Florida is talented. They're talented. I mean, they're gifted. They got gifted athletes all over the field. A ton of speed. And they've recruited well out of Florida. And that's one reason why we got a pipeline of Florida. So, I mean, this game kind of ties in. I mean, you're seeing why we're going into Florida and getting the athletes that we are, because they have the athletes that we want to get. I'm not saying that our guys aren't aren't as good as theirs, but when you have the depth that a, a central court has been building, they were a 0-13 team at one point, or 0-11 team at one point. But we're coming back here on offense. Oh, and a bad pitch there from Cato Nelson, and just like that, Central Florida is going to be right. Back in it, and they're going to tie it right up. That's a rough stretch there. Man, bad pitch. I don't, I don't fault the play call. I just say it. That's on, that's on, Kato. that's on our guy. I mean, there, it's a bad decision. Still a fairly young quarterback. Sophomore redshirt. Deltron Sands is going to bring it out. Oh, and he gets nailed at the 16. Bad decision there. And I just hope our guys don't just go crazy and say, man, I don't, I don't know if we can keep up with these guys anymore. We've been playing well. It was uh, a rough road on their last drive as the fumble. But this is the time where you need a leader Brad, to make a play. Uh, uh, if if Cato's really the guy, he's got to settle in here. Can they forget about that mistake? He's got to settle in here. He's got to make a throw. And he's got to make a play. Good play there. I want to see him throw. The, I want to see him push the ball down the field. I want to see him push the ball down the field. Let's try to get a. Let's try to get a design throw here to Smith. Let's see if we can get something for Smith here. Can't get Quadarius open. There, they, they come down on the screen. We didn't pick up our blocks. Maybe we can split him out on this lane right here. He's to the far side, opposite of the quads. We're going to get in press here. And he comes in late. Oh, and Tristan Heal is in the backfield and tackles Cato Nelson. And that's not what we needed there. So now we have to punt. They look like they've got the block Hopefully on the and defense can give him some time. step up here. We're going to have to we're gonna run the defense now and take over for our defensive coordinator here. 
make some plays. We're offensive minded coach. That's why we play offense when we play defense. But we got some guys on defense that I really like. You always want to go in the locker room. And we're with defensively so led team. So that's we'll why, why I let them get over there, do their thing. Play. We're gonna run a blitz here. Gotta try to get something, get some pressure. Some added pressure. And man, he may go. Oh, and he does. We missed the tackle. Man, they've scored. They have scored touchdowns in a matter of about two minutes. And that, that, that just shows you. That shows you a little bit of. They, they have. They have talent. You, Central, I'm just going to say it. Central Florida, they have, they have more talent with you. And you're starting to see separation here. You get out to a good lead. You're making some plays. And now you're starting to see the talent. Yeah. Deltron Sands is going to bring it out this time. Oh, Sands made, makes a good run there. Gets out to the 23. We, we got to do something here. We got to. We got to. Momentum swings have been fairly even. We don't want, so we don't want Kato to feel the pressure. He's worked on his arm. He's been a, he's always been a runner. He's been a great runner. Such a photo was recruiting him as a safety. And this game is big for him. Personally. He should have pitched it there. I think we gotta read our speed options better, our pitches better. Um Second down, ten to go. Let's see. All right. We're going to go offset. Look here. Get Edwards going. If we can get him going, that can open up some things for us in the passing game. Open up some things off the, off the zone read game for Cato as well. Let's see. We'll run, we'll run zone read here, read option. He's got to read this end. If he crashes, we're keeping it. If he stays, we're giving it. He keep, oh, and Cato was about this close. He was about this close from taking it. Man, if that guy would have reached his arm out there, we had it. It's a touchdown. From their own, 42 One slot post here. It's first down. Got seven first downs. We've had two. Um, we had a turnover. That led to a score. Oh, and Williams dropped the football. Oh, my. Man, Williams, he had it there. We're, we're not giving up on it, guys. We, we got we to gotta stay in it. Stay in the saddle. We got to stay in the saddle here. We got to make a play. Make a throw. Oh, and we're going to go right back to it. Williams making a good catch. He's got open field. Oh, back jukes and gets nailed. Andre Williams taking a huge hit. But makes a huge catch. And that's really good by Cato Williams. Pressure in his face. He just makes a good throw. We go right back to Williams right after he dropped the pass. So he makes up for it there. Let's see. Let's run Wiley. Read O. It's a read O here. Read option. We're going to motion Williams. Nelson reading that in. He's going to keep it. Cuts up. Gets to about the 20 yard line. I think now, I think now we, we got we to gotta let him cut it loose a little bit. Got to let him throw it. Uh, I think we're going to let him throw it right after this play. Run Van. Van is tired. Gosh, he's gassed. And down he goes. He's running one time. He just goes down. Looked like he didn't didn't even want to run there. They're going to bring in somebody else here. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, we got it. Now, this is the eighth play of this drive. This is. Now they bring in Sands. He's our, he's our kick returner and our punt returner. So he's a guy that's very good in open space. You see that there. He, he gets six off the bubble screen. We're going to go no huddle. Well, it didn't, didn't let me no huddle there. 
All right, so now here we go. I think we're gonna run like that there. It's third Let's down. Run this offense something. is about three feet away from that. We're gonna double marker. in here. If they get in press, we might could hit Smith if he's if the safety reading that safety if the safety stays on 35. We're gonna hit Smith in the corner. We're gonna hit him. Great throw from Cato Nelson, and that's exactly how it's drawn up. That's what we, that's what you want there. That's what you want. Great throw in the back ends on there. Couldn't do it any better. And that's why he's been working on his arm. He wants to become a good passer. That's just what he's got to do. All right, they kicked the field goal. They made it. Kicked off. Touchback. They get a big game, so we gotta we gotta hop in here. Gotta hop in. Uh, could go in at halftime, tied First up. Even though we had a bad second quarter, we had a, we had a pretty bad second quarter. Right, we're gonna go with cover two here. We'll walk our safeties down. See if we can afford to do that. <clears throat> Big hit there, and Gabriel Davis makes a 14-yard reception. Kenzie Milton, he's he has he has thrown a pick through. Remember back in the early in the first quarter, right after we scored, he threw a pick on the first play of the season. Well, Brown, Brown's our best corner. That's Keedron Brown. Um, he's our best corner. We're not gonna we're not gonna quit on him. He's 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 last two catches they kind of been on him, but that's fine. He's our best guy. We're going to stick with our guys. We're not going to just pull our guys out just because they make a mistake. Davis. Oh, and Davis. Oh, he gave him too much space. That was the interception waiting to happen. If Davis is on his – if Davis is on his man there, they're going to kick the field goal and made it. Uh, they kicked – out of the back of the end zone. Let's send some offense here. Got a first down. Big pass to Stewart there. All right, we'll hop in here. 43 seconds left in the half. Got to hop in. Got to hop in. All right, let's see. Some spot. All right, let's see. Kato Nelson, he's going to drop back. Oh, the corner route. Andre Williams. No, that's Brimage. Deshaun Brimage comes in. Remember, he has a brother that plays defensive tackle. He's an Akron native. So playing for Akron has always been a dream of his. Seems like. That's a great catch from the freshman there. He is a true freshman. See, we got, we got some guys that are young, that are making plays. It's a big game right here before half. Pressure zone. Stewart on the corner route here. Really just try trying to see who's open here. Well, got to check down to the running back. Oh, and bad throw. Bad throw there from Cato Nelson. He, he got hit as he threw it. We can't really blame it on him. He got hit as he threw it. Seen the blitz. Trying to check down to Van Edwards. Do a pick. We gotta stay out there for the defense. Uh, well, let's sim it up. Go ahead and sim it up here. We're just trying. Looks like we're just trying to run. Oh, okay. We got the ball back. All right, coming out of half, we gotta. Wait, hold up. Oh, O'Leary kicked off. All right, coming out of half, we gotta we gotta make a statement here. We'll we'll just send this up, send it up. Okay, we're we'll the to the fifty. We're gonna have to come in, and hop in here. From their own forty-six right, we'll, yard line. We'll send an inside Second blitz down. here. Central Florida is up seven. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, here we go. They're going to snap the ball today. We're going to press our corners. We're going to go inside here. They gave us time to make our adjustments. Oh, and nowhere to go. And a sack. The defense gets there. Who's that number eight? Josh Ward, the defensive end, making a sack there. We brought a little extra pressure. 
didn't have anywhere to go with it. That's a covered sack. Good, good. I got to, I got to commend our DBs and our linebacker. It's a really good play there by them. We'll go back to our three, three, five stuff. It's our bread and butter on D. Third down now, and they need to get uh, inside let's the see here. Uh, it timed out on us. Still gonna be in our three, three, five stack. Looks like. Looks like we're bringing. Looks like we're bringing a, a pressure there. Oh, and they run a screen pass. We're ready for it. Ah, oh, we missed the first tackle, but uh, Gilbert, top player on our team, he's also from Florida. So this is a big game for him in his home state, making a tackle on the screen pass after we missed the first tackle. Good, good stand there by the defense. I'm, I'm really impressed. Uh, they played well. Having allowed the scoreboard doesn't tell how good the defense has played. They played for minutes. Um, Force a turnover. But we got to we got to pick it up on offense. We haven't really haven't done anything really since the first quarter. We had one good drive. Other than that. Gonna drop back, Katie Nelson. Nowhere to go with it. Just trying to make too many people miss. Trying to do too much, I think, right now. Um, we gotta, we just gotta, he's gotta settle in. I think we're gonna go to some pistol stuff. It's second and eight. And um, ball on the seven yard line. Give it off to Van a couple times. Let him get a, let him just get a feel for it here. His first drive coming out of halftime. Van Edwards. Running hard for a good eight. It's a good run there from Van Edwards. I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera as much. I'm sorry. I just focused on the game. I'm all into it. Uh, let's run power option here. But, all right. Let's get back in here. Get back in. We're going to flip it. We're going to flip the play here. On motion. We're actually going to motion him over Sands. Might want to get our bigger running back in here for this. Uh, Keidra, is it Keidra? Is it Ke it's Keandre, Keandre is his name. Okay, Keandre, I uh, can't remember his last name, but he's a bigger running back to freshman, number 11. Probably remember him from the first video, the first episode here. Uh, we're going to hand off Van Edwards. They sat, that edge player sat, he gets 10, and this looks like a formula for success, Van Edwards. Been a bell cow back here. He's, he's, he's doing well. Uh, let's see. Stick route. Smith. They're playing that far off. If that outside guy doesn't come down, there's no way to guard Smith here. Oh, wow. He closed late. Man, right when we have a chance to get back into it, tied up. Just make a bad throw. That's a bad read. Bad play call on my part. Seen that corner off. Okay, they're just From the did what we told him. Down. Man, that's a bad throw. Man. Is up a score. All right, here we go. Let's get back in. Defense, got to step up here. And Leaning on you. Featherstone Davis there to clean it up. Dredrick. Dred, Dredrick. Dredrick Snelson. Snelson, the top receiver. He was previewed in the in the start of the video also. So here we go. Here we go. Let's see here. Let's see here. Dog gold. They'll spread the field with five wide. Try to run this here. But sudden change. It hurts. Right around the 26 yard line. Uh, and Killens tackling the backfield. Well, no tackle after a three yard gain by Gilbert. Gilbert's been making some plays. Got a. All right, here we go. We got. We need to stop here out of the defense. We can get one. Oh, and they they get loose, and Gilbert makes a good tackle there on Gabriel Davis. First down and goal, and you can tell the defense is getting wore out. This is the lack of depth that I've been talking about. This is why recruiting is so important. I'm gonna run Mike Sam three here. He gets our guys there. Oh, and they get him after a one-yard gain. Uh, I think that's Jordan George, the safety, making that tackle. 
played pretty well on defense. I'm not I'm happy with our defensive effort. Could be better on offense. We turn the ball over twice. Speed option there. Good tackle. I think that's uh, jo that's Josh Ward making another big play. Made a good play last drive. Had a sack. It's really big from Josh Ward showing that he is a defensive leader for our football team. Here we go. Let's see. Quarter. It's our quarter normal. We'll go cover two. This is one of our better red zone formations. They like to spread us out. see it oh and did he get in no he didn't way to hold right there for the defense would like to shut him out for no gain oh and they're going for it they're going for it right here we're gonna we're gonna they're bringing in the running backs so we're gonna we're gonna run uh, a blitz here oh and we missed him oh man and we guessed right. Just didn't make the play. I don't think that's on our guys. We just didn't we just didn't make the play there. That's on them. We we can't we can't coach and play for them too. Man, that's rough. Alright. Twenty-one to thirty-five. Third quarter's about to run out. I mean, all right, it's, it's, getting, it's looking rough here. We struggle on offense. Haven't done anything in this third quarter. Sands, maybe, maybe Sands getting that big return. Maybe that could, maybe that could spark our offense a little bit and give us a little something. The offense comes out to start this drive. Let's see. We're going to read option here. We have to. This is a must. We have to have a big drive here. Oh. We go. Hand off. No, he faked it to him. Ooh. And Kato's getting 12 right there. We got We got to go here. We got to go. We got to go fast here. We, we, we need some scores. I don't know if the defense is going to be able to stop it. Kenzie Milton in this offense for Central Florida is getting hot. I don't know that I don't know that we can stop them if they get the ball back. So we gotta, we gotta score just in case if we do get a stop. Oh, and I needed Newman Williams to cut up there. He's got to cut up and go up the field. Let's see. From their own 41 yard line. We're power over here. Try to get Ban involved here. Don't know that we're going to score before the quarter's out. Should be a cutback lane. No, he, cut, he tried to cut back. Couldn't get there. We're going to go, we're going to go fast. Yeah, going to go fast. A little verticals. Snap it. Didn't want to snap before the half. I mean, before the end of the third. Okay. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. All right, we let the we let it run out. We we'll let the quarter run out. But here we go. Here we go. A little unorthodox look. So we're going to be unorthodox. Here we are. Edwards, Sands in the backfield. Fake it. Oh, and he got tackled. Tackled in the backfield. That's a bad call on my part. And we got a punt. That's a that's a bad play call. We need we need a we need a Cato in the game. Didn't put the faith in him there. He's probably going to be upset about that. Knowing Cato, he wants that pressure on him. So he probably is upset with us there. But defense has got to step up more than ever here. <coughs> if we're going to make it, if we're going to make it even close. Um, we got to step up well here as a defense. A on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step and up. He's and he's saying he is saying it right now. If they score here, this could be an insurmountable lead. 
Maybe he's gonna throw it deep. Look like. Look like he's about to cut it loose. That incomplete pass helps us. The defense, they know. They know if they score here that it's gonna be trouble. Second down. So here we go. We're about to see. We're about to see what our defense is made of. And how we want to be known as a team and as a defense. He is drilled at the 45. Yeah. There's Alvin Davis coming down from his free safety spot, making a good tackle on Kalu Kalubio. He comes down, makes a good tackle on one of the defensive ends. We're going to blitz here. We're going to blitz. Davis comes down, makes another tackle. we got to have that coverage there. Featherstone, he's just got to, he's got to make that, time. he's got to come down and make that play. Here's the throw, I don't think he got anything on that. Running man coverage, Featherstone comes right back, makes a good tackle on Snelson. Dredrick Snelson, they, they've kept him, kept him in check. He hasn't really done anything. All right, Davis. See here, we're gonna run a blitz. We're going to no huddle. We run a blitz, and Jordan George gets there. It's another third down. We gotta, you gotta get off the field on third down. As a defense, you gotta get off third down. You ask any defensive coach, and they'll tell you, you gotta get off the field on third down. Send both outside linebackers here. He's gonna try to run. Nope. No sir, a sack. That's our linebacker, John Lacko. We brought him on a blitz, so it's flustered down. him, they call and the for a they're going to try to kick a field goal. goal, but we're going punt team here. That's a long field goal. If he makes it, he makes it. If he Kicks don't, away. Sands, take and it to the house. It. Kicks up. He got it. Man. So we got we got to have we got to have two quick scores and then a field goal. So we got to have three scores, three score game. We got to have. A quick drive. This would be huge if we could get Sands loose on this kick return. Right, let's see. Oh man! Oh man! He was close. Made some guys miss. Knocked out at the 31. This has been the best return of the day. Not the longest, but the best. That they came at a big time. Good job, Sands. There. Says we got a setup play. I think this is the drive, drive concept. So if we can get something here, if this is set up. Uh, cut it loose to Smith. Oh man, and the safety knocked it down. Cato Nelson uncorked the long ball. And man, that was that was close. We 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 kind of needed that, one. but that's fine. We're back in. We're back in here. Let's see. Five wide. Five wide. Let's try to find something that's gonna get us some good yardage. Bunch flood here. Do we want to flip this play? I I think I think running to the boundary would be good. Throws up. Brimage, oh, Brimage dropped it. Safety's there again. I think we want to go away from that safety. That safety, he's been making some plays. The last two, he's, he, is, he looks like he's ready for a, He looks like he's ready for an interception. We're going to have to get away from him. I have to run him off or something. Brimage up the sideline. The wheel route. Brimage. Deshaun Brimage. Gets loose. Touchdown, Akron. Yes, sir. Just how we drew it up. Cato Nelson. Oh, man, what a throw. Good throw there to Brimage. Man, don't get better than that. Man, oh, man, that was perfect. Great throw there. First play of the series was a 16-yard pass to Trey line. Nixon, the old Miss transfer. Makes a good catch. We gotta, we gotta get a stop here. 
Gilbert's matched up with the slot receiver, bringing both safeties. And running Killens up the middle, and he gets eight. That hurts there. We can't use our timeouts because we gotta have we gotta get the ball back again. Even after this, we're probably gonna try to kill the clock. Let's go three four. Haven't been our three four all day. We're about to run it out there. This compacts our lineman, brings out a takes off a defensive back, and brings in another linebacker. This could this could be big here. They pull a guard. He good tackle there. Is that Sylvania? I think Sylvania's uh, 27. That's a freshman linebacker. We're gonna blitz here. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sell out run here. Sell out run here. We're gonna probably let the play clock run down. All right, let's see. We got to have a stop here. It's big third down. Big third down. We're selling out run here. Oh, and Davis just gets ran over. It makes a guy miss, and Jordan George. Man, and that just, oh, my gosh. Davis was there. It's just a lack of size there. Gets trucked by the quarterback. Oh man, that's rough. And hands on it and it. That could be a pick. Oh, and Karan Brown dropped the ball. Bad decision. Man, can we get a can we get an interception here? If we got a turnover here. That would be amazing. We'll go. We're gonna go run middle. They're going to run it. Good tackle there by our corner. He got tackled for a loss there. Denzel Butler. They're going no huddle. They're going no huddle. They're probably going to throw it here. Probably going to throw it. We'll shift our line in. That would be dumb to throw it, really. All right, we got to get a stop here. If we're going to get a stop, this is the time to do it. Third down and goal. Maybe it's a long shot probably for us to win. We got to get something here. UCF can't score here. Can't allow it. If we want to win. Davis. Davis comes right back and makes a great tackle. Good stuff right there from Alvin Davis. We're going to take a timeout here. Only chance we got is a onside kick. If we could have made that tackle earlier, Davis comes right back, redeems himself. Maybe he redeems himself too late. But, and you see it. You see it here. Akron's not going to quit. We're not going to allow them to score just because, oh, man, maybe the game's out of reach. He's playing for pride here. And this is this, – this, that tackle right there for Davis – that just I just made a little notch in the back of my mind saying man Davis he just showed why he why he's a uh, he's a leader in this sector not the biggest not the fastest he's a he, he's a, he's allowed he's allowed a touchdown earlier in this game I'm sure there are a lot of he's led a quarterback a trucking miracle, for a first down crucial late in the fourth today. quarter but he makes a tackle on the goal line and doesn't allow a touchdown and that's what you want to see if you're a coach at a young program. This this program's young. Davis, he's only a junior. He's a good he's a good safe. Newman Williams not giving up. Cato in this offense not giving up. We've got a first and ten. I think Cato, Cato, a mature quarterback, can't throw two two picks. It don't matter that you threw two touchdowns. Those touchdowns don't cancel out those picks. Those up, Nate Stewart. They're not going to give up. Nate Stewart, 40-yard gain. Big gain for the for the sophomore wide receiver. Big gain. You gotta gotta try to gotta try to get something here. See if we can score. It. 
Oh, bad throw there, Tatum Nelson. Oh, man. Forced it to Smith. Three interceptions. And you lose by three possessions. Coincidence? I don't think so. We're going to go ahead and we'll send this out. Milton's going to kneel. Kneel it out here. Oh, we're just going to send it out. Actually, you know what? Did we use the timeout? Clock's running. Clock's running. That's our final. They punt the ball. And uh, there you go, Milton. 286 yards. I mean, he's their best player. He hurt us the most. 28 yards from the rest of the team. Couldn't If we can't stop their best player, um, then you're not going to win very many ball games and – this has been this has been a this is gonna be a hard loss. You kind of see where you're at. You lose by three to a team that should have beat you. Scored 28 though. 28. It's pretty good. You allowed 41 though. You can't you can't allow 41 and win games. You know, one of those touchdowns not on them. So that's really. That's really. I think that that's 34 points. It's not on them. 34 points. It's not on the defense. Not on the defense. Turn the ball over three times. That's three scores there. I mean, that, and that's bad. I mean, you can't you can't turn the ball over three times. Really, four. No, it, it was four times. Because we pitched the ball to their linebacker, as you see there. And that that kills you. You can't make mistakes like that. Expect to win ball games. Uh, I'm I'm gonna talk to Cato this week about protecting the ball. Uh, this can't continue. Cato's our guy. He's not gonna get pulled. Uh, but he can't keep continuing to have performances like this and not expect to change. I'm not gonna do that to the fans. I'm not gonna do that to the rest of our staff. And I'm for sure not doing it to the rest of our team and these kids and the people that support. Uh, if you support the series and you, you want to see us bounce back, you want to see us uh, cut down on turnovers, you want to see something, if you want to see something different, put it in the comments. Give us a like, subscribe. Uh, if, uh, if you want more Akron Zips football, you want to see us turn the page and not go down to a Central Florida. Maybe this score's flipped in a year or two. Maybe, maybe three years. I don't know. Um, but we got to bounce back next week. Got Michigan. Schedule don't get any easier. Got Michigan next week. Uh, I think they were ranked 14 this week. They'll probably go up in the polls. So we got a, we got a highly ranked Michigan team. Next week at the big house. So tune in and uh, just in the comments, just tell me what you want me to know. Tell me how, how our staff could be better, how our team could be better. And we'll see you next week at the big house.